Hello student friends. Today we are going to learn cell theory in detail. I am Dr. Alka Inamdar in Alka's Botany channel. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. In biology, cell theory is the historic scientific theory and now it is universally accepted. The cell was first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665 which can be found to be described in his book Micrographia. Hooke discovered a multitude of tiny pores that he named cells. This came from the Latin word cella meaning a small room like monks lived in and also cellulia which meant the six-sided cell of a honeycomb. In 1673, Anton von Leeuwenhoek is another scientist who saw these cells soon after Hooke did. He made use of microscope containing improved lenses found motile objects. In 1827 up to 1833, Robert Brown noticed that pollen grains in water jiggled around and that mechanism is called Brownian motion and he also discovered the nucleus from the chick cells of human. In 1838 39 Scleden suggested that every structural part of a plant was made up of cells or result of a cells. In 1839, Theodor Schwann states that along with plants, animals are composed of cells or the product of cells in their structures. This was a major advancement in the field of biology. Formerly established a cell theory by Theodor Schwann and Matthias Scleden. In 1839, cell theory is the most basic tenet underlining the field of biology. Cell theory is the basic principle of biology. Credit for formulation of cell theory is given to the German scientist Theodor Schwann and Matthias Scleden along with Rudolf Virchow. The principles of cell theory in which cell theory states that all living organisms are composed of cells. They may be unicellular or multicellular. The cell is a basic unit of life. Cells arises from pre-existing cells. They are not derived from spontaneous generations. From this conclusion about plants and animals, these three tenets of cell theory were postulated. The generally accepted parts of modern theory includes all known living things are made up of one or more cells. All living cells arises from pre-existing cells by division. The cell is the fundamental unit of structure and function in all living organisms. The activity of an organism depends on the total activity of independent cells. Energy flow that is a metabolism and biochemistry of cell occurs within the cells. Cells contain DNA which is found specifically in the chromosome and RNA found in the cell nucleus and cytoplasm. Heredity information that is a DNA is passed on from cell to cell. All the cells have the same basic chemical composition. Cell, the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms shows diversity in cell number, cell size as well as in cell shape. The unicellular organisms are made up of single cell that is amoeba, bacteria and chlamydomonas are the best examples of unicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms are made up of millions of cells that is all plants and all animals comes under multicellular organisms. In the cell size, cells are extremely small. 
therefore they can be only observed under microscope cells are measured in micrometers or microns mycoplasma shows most smallest cell whereas nerve cells are the longest cells whereas ostrich egg is the largest cell in the living world according to cell shape it is varied in different organisms the shape of plant cell is different from that of animal cell they may be spherical oval elliptical spindle shaped cuboidal polygonal columnar or flat plate like structures majoritarily there are two types of cells prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell in next lecture we study in detail about the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell thank you thank you very much for observing this video thank you